in the beginning of the first quarter of the 20th century, in 1923 to be precise, the Ghani family, the renowned Paris publishers, built Le Chateau La Croix en A in Normandy, France. Fast forward almost a hundred years to 2019, and my two friends sold everything they had to buy the chateau. How sad and unloved it looked after many years abandoned. There was so very much to do, from knocking down wall to dancing to the gramophone. I love you to join Miss Anna and Peter as they take you on a journey to make the chateau truly splendid again. Love all those renovation projects. Come and join them with an insight into their life in France. And show you around, old sport. Part two. <laughs> um, welcome back, guys. Come down. Ew. <laughs> oh, rude. <laughs> <laughs> she did. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of the Art Deco bedroom. Excuse the washing up there. You shouldn't have said that. Now people will notice it. Look how clean it is now. Yeah, look at my teeth though. Look. <laughs> it's because my face is so black. My teeth look like I've had um, yeah, you Simon that. Cowell's dentist but on them. You, he hasn't actually got a moustache. That's just mud. It's just dirt from work. We've been chopping wood. Um, so um, it's debris from that. Anyway, let's go on with the room. He's doing the ceiling rows, aren't you? Ceiling rows. What sort of style would you like, honey? <laughs> that's predetermined. It's going to be Art Deco. Art Deco, that's exciting. Let's try that. OK, Pete and his infamous sketches, but hopefully um, this might explain what we're trying to do with the ceiling rows uh, for the Art Deco style ceiling rows. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is the center of the ceiling, so therefore the center of the new ceiling rows. And Art Deco is all about angles and squares. So the basic shape, kind of that sort of size. And then what I was thinking we could do is, is just have some... lengths coming out like this so this will all be one board when it's done and then on this one here another one coming out and then perhaps a smaller one on the lengthways and then linking all that up so the actual outside of the board will kind of will kind of be like this So this will be this will mark the perimeter of the rows. All right. And then on the inside we have we have a square border like this, so another layer on the inside. That might be a bit too big, but something like that. And then linking up here and here we have some trim and then on this one here I was thinking we come down to the center point we come down to the center point on this one we go up and return and the same on this side so we come down to this center point center point center point and link up so they won't have these dots in them obviously so it kind of will look like that So these sections will be made of trim and then trim coming into the center, trim coming in to the center, trim coming in to the center. So kind of like something like that. I think the middle section will be a bit smaller. You get the idea. So to make our ceiling row base, can't use plaster because that would be too complicated. 
Um, and it's going to the base color of this is going to go the same color as the ceiling. So it needs to have some thickness. It's got some definition. So for the base, if you like the outline shape, I've had a couple of lengths of MDF left, and I had some of this chipboard, which isn't ideal, but it's got a texture to it. It's not as smooth as MDF, but it'd be all right if it's painted, and it, it won't be bad if it's got a texture because obviously uh, plaster wouldn't be dead smooth. So I'm going to try and use this. So the next job is just to uh, measure up and draw up what this pattern would look like and then offer up some trim, which we're going to use the same as the picture rail trim to keep that matching. And then if that works, then we're going to do some cutting. So let's get some measuring done. So that's all our measurements done and the bold lines is the final outline of the base um, and then we have the trim on the inside this trim here which will go in in black so trim will go around on the inside in black on cream um, and then we'll have trim coming down here to the edge and then in the corners here you'll just see that uh, we'll have the trim coming in like this. So the first job now is to cut out the waste on the outside. I'm going to do that um, by hand I think. That will be the safest option. <laughs> We're not using the handsaw now, it's too hard. To use the table, so... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> basic design that was going to do the magnificent trip. No. <laughs> that wasn't how it was supposed to be, was it? Yeah. No, we're doing this together. But could you hold it up, honey? So that's just before we um, sand it and prepare it. And uh, now we're going to do the trim. OK, it's not very thick material, the trim. So we're going to use good old fashioned non-electric miter saw. My dad would be proud of me if he was with us today. Okay, so put a 45 degree on the end of that. Show us what that looks like. Okay, so first one done. Now we need to do all the straight lines out, so we'll do those now, nice and easy. And then we'll finally finish off with the more complicated middle bits. Let's time lapse this, hey.
Okay. Fantastic maze, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's a bit raw because nothing stuck, nothing stuck down, and and all the mitres need sanding, um, and it needs laying out properly. But that's roughly it. So the next job is we've just got to uh, drill out the hole in readiness for the power lines to come down and then this has got to go inside the base coat's got to go cream and then we've got to paint all of these uh, rub them down because they're a little bit rough around the edges this stuff doesn't cut very cleanly so we've just got a, a bit of gentle sanding on those uh, paint them black wait for that to dry glue it all together screw it up So we've just done some caulking all around the edges and in the screw holes. Uh, off camera we did use bonding on the other side, so it's bonded to the ceiling and then screwed in uh, to the ceiling joist as well, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, but naturally there's a few little gaps, so I've just caulked all around those. Need to let that dry and then it's just a final coat of cream just to touch up around the edges um, and anywhere we've got some glue showing and then just touch up the black where there's a little bit of glue here and there and that, that bit's done. The next job is just to build the uh, headboard surround for uh, this, this double bed. And we've got some of this MDF left, left over and I thought we'd use this, it can go black. Uh, and basically I was just sketching up on the wall um, a pattern that we could kind of follow. So there's, there's my centre line of the room which is roughly the centre of the old door actually. Um, so whatever we do this side, we obviously just replicate on the other side. But kind of something like something like this. So we're just going to get on and cut that. And the last quick job why this is drying is just to take those two edge strippings off. Um, we'll keep those for reuse and then just put in another piece of skirting board glue and screw that and seal that up and then we're ready.
Okay, next job is uh, to continue with the dado rail, which is this one here. Um, now we know that distance, we can do um, that section, and then we to go around and we just need to do behind the radiator and then up to the back of the headboard area. So that side is going to be radiator off. So we've got to quickly drain down the system, take that radiator off, dado, and then it's going to be painted behind there, below the dado, papered above it. Um, so let's get on with that. So we've just got to um, take the radiator off the wall. Uh, there's a fixing here and one at the bottom. And we'll clean those unions up and uh, reapply some PTFE tape and, and seal that. And then just continue the dado trim behind the radiator. This is the nut here that we need to remove. And for this job, we use a tool called Stilson's. They're kind of like a big adjustable and they've got a fair amount of flex in them. Uh, but the idea is you need to be this side. If you were undoing a, a, uh, a nut this way, you'd need to be on this side of the job. So as you apply pressure here, this jaw tightens up against this jaw because as I say, it's a bit slack. If it was the other way around and you were applying pressure this way, they would open up. Okay, now we've got the radiator out of the way, we're just going to finish off that trim. Nice two square cuts and uh, that job will be done. Top tip this, if you're rescuing, we're reusing old door surrounds for the trim and this one's got a whole load of, load of nails in and the temptation is to take the nail out by banging the nail through that way and pulling it out but this side has already been filled so my tip is to always pull the nail out in the direction um, that it was being banged in and that way you don't damage any of the any of the timber on the outside there we go So we're just ready to put the light fitting up and uh, we found this beautiful Art Deco chandelier and we just love this chrome, uh, this chrome detail and the detail underneath is quite deco too. I mean look at that. The only trouble is it's missing its, it's missing its rose cover, the piece that goes on the top and it's also missing predictably the bowls uh, or the globes that go on here but you can buy those 
So we're going to get this fitting up with some candle, um, candle bulbs for now and then keep our eyes open. So what we thought we'd do with the cover is um, just find something that fits over the chocolate block, the chocolate block fitting. And this is a lid from a Lynx Africa deodorant bottle, which is about the right scale and it fits nicely. So we use that for now and it's black. Uh, but we love it. It's perfect and it wasn't very much money at all. We forget it's either 20 or 23 euros for that. So that finishes that off perfectly. And of course, our Lynx Africa cap works perfectly just there to cover the chocolate block. So we're happy with that. On to the next bit. Yes, Anna. <laughs> film putting this up but um, we've just put up our 
one euro curtain rail, which was uh, from the Brocant, which is absolutely perfect. It fits splendid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on. Oh, I like so cute. <laughs> There's going to be a major catastrophe. <laughs> this is what happens when you are papering when it's very late in the day after work. Okay, we're at that time now where we're going to start papering. So we're going to start on uh, this wall. Okay guys, we're just coming to the end of the wallpapering, so we've got the uh, blue and the gold up, we really like it, it looks a bit boudoirish, doesn't it Miss Anna? It is boudoir. It is boudoir, I'm being yeah. told. Uh, but we wanted to break it up on the headboard, you won't see most of it be behind the headboard, but we wanted there to be a delineation. So we're going for something a bit lighter, and we've got, uh, we've got this pattern here, which we really like. In fact it goes, sorry, it goes up that way doesn't it, it goes at the top of the rock. So it kind of goes like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a centre line down the, the middle here, the exact centre of this break, and then we'll paper to the left and to the right to make sure that the centre line is in place.
So what's left to do? We've bought a couple of cheap uh, uplighters for that wall. They need to go up next. Um, we've got to do the wiring in of the switch for those. Just got to I've put all the cabling in already, so that just needs to be connected up. Um, then we've got to do like a building clean, like a, a proper deep clean, all between the skirting boards and things, get all that nice and clean, and then I think we're ready. Uh, I'll reconnect the fire, and then I think we're ready to start moving the furniture in. How exciting! They're very, very good. So I'll cross over between the art and we'll go out there. Yeah, oyster. Well, the clamshells would have been lovely, wouldn't they? No, no, they would have been lovely, wouldn't yeah. they? So this is a good solution. Okay, so we get them up. Like these, like them. At four euros, can't complain, can we? That's the price of a light bulb. That's an expensive light bulb. Where are you going? I've got expensive light bulb tastes. <laughs> Let's get them up. <laughs> So we are ready now to start bringing in the furniture. Just finished. We've just finished. <sighs> it's way past dinner time. <laughs> I'm starving. And I said to Anna, I said, we get not we get changed, we get showered, <laughs> and we'll um, get I'll have a shave, and I'll put my um, smoking jacket on, and really be comfortable for the reveal. I've still got my rags in, look. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't going to happen. So, um, let's show you. We've got the lobby going in, um, which we've now finished, and then the bedroom, so the Art Deco bedroom. So it'll probably be the only Art Deco bedroom in the house, but we've always wanted to do it, haven't yeah. we? So let's go and have a look. So we've done all the window furniture, and we've gone for a, a, a wooden stain effect on the interior shutter and we've got our art deco mirror here in the lobby and then we've just got our bookcase with some of our favorite books and a few pictures so this is just the entry lobby isn't it honey yeah entry lobby to the art deco room and the bathroom Please help my good friends, press like and subscribe to stay tuned for further adventures, old sport.